and a downriver mother turning herself into a detective to find her young son's stolen bike. She did make a big break in the case, but that trail has since dried up, and now she's making a public plea for help tracking it down. Action News reporter Brian Abel talked to the family about the struggle to get it back. Brian? Yeah, little Aiden's bike was stolen from their porch right here on White Avenue. It would pop up on Facebook for sale, but before Aiden's mother could go get it, the bike was gone. It's a mountain bike. It's blue, yellow, and it has a black seat. Little second grader Aiden Hardy was all smiles for his sixth birthday when seeing this gift. What was your favorite thing? That it can change its gear and that I can go fast on it, and now that I can ride it. But that option is now gone. The bike stolen off Aiden's Lincoln Park porch over the weekend. But it would show up again on Facebook. Someone posting, my brother got a bike for sale. The post would find its way to Aiden's mom. A friend of mine had seen it on her uh, time on her feed. And so I um, messaged the girl. She offered to buy the bike for 20 bucks and get it back with the rest that weren't stolen. The seller said yes. She then called police to see if they'd help after she already filed the report. By the time she decided to go on her own, the thief may have done some research of their own and found this posted on Helka's Facebook and community pages. The seller stopped returning messages. I just want the bike. I just want his bike. I don't care about anything else. He loved that bike. That was his big guy bike. Now, the family says that the bike was roughly about $300, and that other bikes have been stolen from the neighborhood as well. Lincoln Park Police tell us they are investigating. They also say that you can register a bike just in case somebody tries to, after stealing it, pop it up on a pawn shop or elsewhere, something like that. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.